In this video, we will demonstrate how to retrofit an existing opening with the AD series cylindrical lock. These are the tools you will need for this installation. Feed the door position switch wires through the door position switch hole in the door edge. Run the wires through the upper large hole on the inside of the door. Push the door position switch sensor into the opening. Then install the companion door position magnet into the hole in the frame. Close the door to check for alignment. This next step is only for the AD300. Ensure your power supply is turned off. Pull the RS-485 cable through the same upper large hole on the inside of the door. If your AD300 is hardwired separately, pull the two power wires through the same upper large hole on the inside of the door. Check the handing of the outside and inside assemblies. The knob stop pin should be pointing towards the latch edge of the door. If those assemblies are not handed for your opening, rehand them now. Watch the AD series cylindrical rehanding video to learn how. Install the latch, ensuring the bevel of the latch is appropriate for the swing of the door. Separate the retaining plate from the latch retractor and install the latch retractor from the outside of the door. Be sure that the tabs on the latch are correctly inserted into the retractor assembly before re-securing the plate from the inside. Install the cylinder and lever onto the outside assembly. Insert a Phillips screwdriver into the spindle assembly and rotate the cam clockwise until it stops. Place the cylinder into the handle and while holding it in place, insert the key. Turn the key 90 degrees clockwise and push the lever over the spindle. Depress the knob stop using the lever removal tool until the lever has passed the knob stop and you hear a click. Check the lever and cylinder have seated correctly by turning the key and removing the key from the lever. Make sure the two orientation triangles on the back of the outside assembly are lined up. You can use one of the spindles to rotate it to the correct position. Install the four standoff posts and insert one of the spindles into the back of the assembly, with the beveled square end pointing outward. With the two triangles lined up, place the outside assembly onto the door. Feed the ribbon cable through the large upper hole. Guide the four standoff posts into the top and bottom mounting holes and guide the center prongs through the latch retractor. Push flush to the door without crimping the ribbon cable. Now that the outside assembly is in position, attach the anti-rotational plate. Center the plate vertically over the latch retractor on the inside of the door. Insert the two countersunk screws through the top and bottom holes into the center prongs and tighten. Slide the other lever onto the inside assembly using the lever removal tool to depress the knob stop. You should hear a click when it is properly seated. Place the spring onto the post end of the second spindle and insert it into the inside assembly with the beveled square end pointing outward. Carefully feed all wires through the conduit hole of the inside assembly while aligning the spindle with the latch retractor hole. Push the assembly flush to the door. Install the four mounting screws. To complete the mechanical installation, install the strike. To check for correct mechanical operation, depress the inside lever and make sure the latch fully retracts. On the outside lever, insert the key and turn to verify full latch retraction. In some retrofit cases, you may need to install an AD series decorative plate if there are any exposed holes. To complete the installation, watch the AD series cylindrical electrical hookup video.